mental health is just as important as physical health so just get used to prioritizing self-care those were words that were stated by the duke of sussex after the excitement over friday's polo match in florida it's good to see harry and megan chilling with their close friends nacho and Delfino. thumbs up to harry and uh, harry's long time uh, bodyguard because he's always there we all can see he's always there. One thing that's very, very much clear, Nacho and Harry have created a very good bond. And I'll just put for you some photos so that you can be able to see. They are just out and about, living life. Duchess Megan in baggy outfits, but still looking outstanding. Them just hugging each other now. The wives, as the husbands are out there chilling. Nacho himself is walking barefoot, man, for you to just see that. You know what? These two people came from a way long time. They've known each other for such a long time. I bet that's what basically they are kind of trying to make us see. Because just watching uh, the Duchess of Sussex and Delfina hug each other walk together across and just you can see the love sister the sister loving them to be honest these people have found family outside of family harry never had one to call a brother but i bet he now has one that is megan on the other hand also the same but i bet she also found someone out that i'm actually loving every single aspect of their move what they do what they are planning to do because i believe and i know it's going to be our success i totally love 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 their style their style i personally love it i usually don't like megan in baggy stuff because she has a killer body but this rocks that was somebody's comment about the same a very californian coastal cheek laid back but expensive people have got different ways in you know describing them or what they have to say watching harry and megan having a serious conversation how they look at each other literally caress it all it takes off all of it because you know what those two couple are just amazing Megan kissing Nacho's daughter. You can tell Nacho's children are very close with Harry and Megan and probably Archie and Lilibet too. You can tell because of how they relate, how they coordinate. Tells you that these people have a lot going on beyond this friendship thing that we the public know about. It seems that they have a lot more that the public has no clue about it. But I'm just loving and loving them on daily basis. They're doing great and I believe they are going up places. Things are getting better and better on daily basis. I don't know what you're thinking. I don't know what's your take about this. But just watch Harry having made it this far. Watch Harry having gotten this far. Because, of course, we all knew very well. The haters had predicted. The wetters had anticipated a lot. They had said of how they won't be able to survive out there. That things were not going to work right for them. That they'll come back crawling and asking for assistance. But look at what is happening to them now. Look at what is happening to them now. They're just flourishing. They're just, you know, everything is getting better. Nothing has ever stagnated ever since they left. But instead, it's like them moving out was kind of an opening door for them. It's kind of them moving out was kind of just a thumbs up. It's like success was waiting for them to just make a step out and they'll have it. And that's what basically, at the moment, they are having to deal with. Nothing about success. All they do is just win, win, win. Success is their passion. Happiness is their passion. 
how they relate how they look at each other tells you that love is all over the place in harry and megan's marriage in harry and megan's life and having just watched them get this far having just watched them kind of just get this far tells you that you know what these people are amazing really really incredible and that they're never going to let anything come in between their marriage not today not tomorrow not the day after tomorrow because uh, they've sticked to one another in both in both good times and bad times why them let anything distract or come in between them now that they are at a better place definitely not harry and megan because it was just the other day whereby there were these old stories and article back from the UK whereby they were stating that the Duke of Sussex is desperate, wanting to come back and work as a royal. And I'm like, Harry hasn't... First of all, Harry, I doubt if he's at any particular moment sits down and starts to imagine himself going back to that particular country. That's when... Secondly, Harry is not that desperate. Honey, there's nothing that he lacks for him to want to go back. And the fact that they want Harry to abandon his family, that's definitely not the Duke of Sussex doing that. And by now, they should have learned that Harry and Meghan are never, ever letting go sight of one another. And that's why where Harry is, Meghan is. Where Harry is, Megan is. And there is nothing they can do about that. The truth stands. The truth remains. The Harry and Megan ever. The best thing they ever did was just to leave that country. The best thing that they ever did. Because uh, we all can see the glow, the growth, the consistency that they've had. Tells you that these people honestly don't deserve to be there. The royals are what truly really, they never deserved Harry and Meghan. And that's why at the moment they are facing crisis. A mystery is going on. And of course there is no one to assist them in recollecting the broken pieces. No one at any particular point is ready to assist them in recollecting the broken pieces that you know what they've broken that's why the body is sinking the monarchy is sinking the monarchy is dead what else do they have to say what next is there left of them i'm happy the harry and megan are happy and i'm happy they have true friends closer to them not having fake siblings around you because of course the media themselves don't know what is going on with harry and megan and of course they are left out in the dark the same way we the public are don't know a thing and i bet that's the way to go because we all can see they move without no one detecting their movement and yesterday, the Daily Mail was pissed off because you know what? Harry's stuff really humiliated them. And that's what truly is deserved of them. I don't know what's your take. I don't know what's your concern about this. Kindly just let me know on the comment section. Hoping to see you guys in our next videos.